most like and what do you most dislike about directing your boss? Um, well, the thing is that I love things in every part of the process and I suffer in every part of the process. <laughs> <laughs> so, like <laughs> <laughs> so it's those little things, you know, when you're thinking of an idea and you think, you know, it's difficult and you're trying and then, you know, it feels like you found something in that moment and then, you know, you start the writing process and it's really difficult and it takes a lot of work and focus and it doesn't always work. And, but then, you know, you start reading something that, you know, you, you, you start feeling excited about making it and then, you know, you're going to be soon confident in order to put it in production. Filming, I find extremely stressful. You do. Um, All of you? Uh, Yes, I yeah. really. Yeah. I, I find it, it like I find it 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 said the same before. It's murder. What was the toughest thing for you about the favorite? Was there one moment that was really what things went wrong, or no? It was just the constant uh, part of it. You know, trying to get everything like Alfonso said before. You know, you're filming something, you're doing the scene. You know, you're probably never gonna come back and do something differently, and it's gonna stay there forever uh, for people to watch. So mm. it's really. The worst is when you have a nagging feeling that something's wrong, but you can't figure yeah, out what it is, it is, and you're sitting there going, this is my yeah, chance, I have again. to let's fix it, it right now, <laughs> but I can't actually, and then you have a moment where you go, oh, I yeah. got it, I got it, this is the problem, yeah. and fix it, or if the you don't. The problem is it when it comes the next the day. The next day, next and then morning, you're oh, so This is upset. what I should have done. Oh, I know, or a year later. <laughs> What did film school fail to teach you, Yorgos? And you went in Greece. Yes, that's a bit of a problem. Oh. Um, there isn't such a great educational facility uh, for, for filmmaking in Greece, and there's not, there hasn't been an industry for, for many years. It's like individual efforts here and there. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem. I kind of learned the technical stuff by reading American cinematographer, like going to the newsstand and waiting for when it would come to Greece and, wow. you know. And I, I was fortunate enough that I started early on to direct commercials. Mm. Um, and I, I experimented a lot and learned a lot technically. But on, on the actor's side of things, I, I, I was also fortunate enough, although I never intended to direct uh, theater, to do plays in the theater in Greece. So that enabled me to figure out how I, I, I could work with actors and how to get uh, where I wanted to get. Um, and in that respect, we do have a luxury in Greece and have like two, three months of rehearsals wow. before we stage a play. And uh, that was a very useful school for me. What was the key thing me. you learned about working with actors? Um, just just had, how to go about you know, asking them things, asking them to do things, to find indirect ways of um, showing them what we're trying to achieve instead of trying to intellectualize it and analyze it. Um, yeah, w try to work in a physical way. And if we could exchange two words only and then be in sync, that would be ideal. Um, and I think, I've yeah. That's how I go about directing mm. actors. I try to not speak to them a lot and let them do the thing. Yorgos, you've come from Greece. How do you feel about making a studio film? And have you been in talks about doing any big studio films? To be honest, it wasn't very different for me. And I, I again, it's that kind of differentiation. What is a studio film and what isn't? Uh, so long as I have the creative freedom that I that I need for each film, um, as Pike says, you know, whoever you know believes in the project and is willing to back you up, you know, it's it's a great opportunity to keep working. So I, I really don't see it like that. I see, you know, the the stories that interest me, the next film that I want to do, how I want to do it differently or the things that I want to uh, develop further. Uh, so it's, it's all about that. And then you find the appropriate people to, to, to support you and back you up. What was the biggest challenge for you in making The Favourite? Well, the fact that it's, it was a period film uh, complicates things, I think. Um, and it makes it more expensive. It was the most expensive film to date. But I, what I find challenging 
ever since I started making English language films is that although of course I do have more means than when I used to make films in Greece, at the same time they come with a lot of more rules and restrictions and I'm always struggling to find the way of doing things in a different way, doing things the way that they fit the film that I'm making mm. at the time and not just because there's a system that works in a particular way to adapt the creative part to the machine. Mm. So it's been, it's been a struggle to mm. find those ways. Hello, my name is Spike Lee. I'm Marielle Heller. Hi, I'm Ryan Coogler. Hi, I'm Bradley Cooper. And you're watching The Hollywood Reporter. And the Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter Director Roundtable. The Red Dish Roundtable on YouTube. On YouTube.